Marvel Legends, Spider-Man, Retro Wave, but not really, Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Let's get it. What is good, my peeps? It's The Ruck is back at you again. Marching on, we got another action figure review courtesy of Hasbro Marvel Legends for you. Continuing on with the Spider-Man Retro But Not Really Wave, a.k.a. the Ben Riley Wave. And what we got going on this time, you see it clearly in the clamshell. We have got Miles Morales in a very recent costume. He's changed out again, but uh, for a minute, he was wearing this. So you see what it is. We're going to see what it is. You see he comes with an additional set of thwippers. At least he has a pair of them. So, you know, so we get a pair of these, but no wall crawling hands. It's it's truly amazing. Uh, I'm not even going to try to fathom the method to the madness. Anyhow, you see the artwork to the left of us. Here on the back, we see a digital render of the figure. And uh, we do have a, uh, a little bio. Bitten by a radioactive spider, Miles Morales discovers allies and enemies across the multiverse as Spider-Man. So here we have Miles Morales in his uh, rather crazy looking costume. And as far as the figure is concerned, in order to be uh, accurate as possible... They had to put an overlay over um, the figure to emulate the sweatshirt that Miles was using in the comic. He only really ran with this uh, this look for one storyline, if I recall, and it was sometime um, uh, quite recently. Either um, the run ended the beginning of the year or the tail end of last year. Either way, this is what we got. So... Um, we see that it's reds and blacks. That's all it is, reds and blacks. So you see what we got here with the uh, the head sculpt. And then let me turn to the uh, side here so you can see what I'm talking about. He actually has like uh, a turtleneck that he's got pulled all the way up covering his nose. Why he would need to do that when he's got a full mask. At least I assume it's a full mask. Get it a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about there. The eyes. My eyes are painted nice and uh, red. Nothing uh, seeping through. Turn to the back. You see he's got uh, whatever this is supposed to be. <laughs> and uh, yeah, oh, well, that's what it is. It's a bandana and that's where it's tied up. I get it now. And... Uh, like I said, you got this overlay here. It's like a rubbery plastic. It's got the uh, ropes at the bottom. Nice spider logo there in the center, painted red. And then, of course, as far as the arms are concerned, they're molded in black and then painted red. All the way down to the gloves. The gloves are uh, two-tone, both red and uh, black. His hands fisted. Same thing with the thwippers. Then looking at the legs, molded in red, but you see we got the black there and the uh, the webbing. My lines look pretty cool. Look to the other side, they look pretty cool. And then of course, he's wearing his boot. I mean, his, boot, his sneakers basically. And turn to the other side. Here we got something interesting. The back there. He's got the nice spider logo on the back. So that's pretty nice that uh, that was included because you know how Hasbro can be for sure. Getting a height measurement. You know this is on the uh, teen buck. So it's not going to be very tall. So we're talking about he's coming in somewhere in between 5 and 3 quarters and 6 inches tall. Like I said, you know he's on that teen buck. And uh, we do need a new teen buck. This is going to be uh, quite limited with this overlay as we talk about his articulation. So the head is on a uh, dumbbell, so you're not going to get much going up this go-round. You can only look up about that much. 
you can look down about that much you get some some tilt there he can 360 it as far as the shoulders he can get up like that uh, more than 90 and it'll rotate and then uh, he's got the single jointed elbows that have they ha it has a double uh, click in there but it does swivel so that's interesting and then of course we've got the wrists that uh, rotate and horizontal hinge now here's where it gets problematic because of this overlay as you can see what's going on right there it impedes whatever ab style we got going on so you're not going to get much there's an ab crunch in there but that's as far as you go going back ugh, that's as far as you go I think it's a uh, yeah diaphragm that's on a uh, a uh, ball hinge waist style so you can get what you see in there legs you can do the splits pretty decently he can kick he can't get 90 because it's being impeded by that overlay uh, so-called sweatshirt he's got the uh, thigh cut pinless knees double jointed and uh, so now we've got the uh, do we have a yeah we, it swivels at the uh, top of that uh, the sneaker and then you can point the toe that far forward that far up we've got ankle pivot holes pickles at the bottom of his feet and now comparing our miles with a more uh, familiar costume that we uh, that we know about this is what uh, he used to wear and uh, the costume he has now he still maintains the uh, the red and black motif for the most part uh, but this uh, this costume here on our right, at least the eyes were white. He just went straight red and black on our left there. And uh, another thing too, um, maybe we're, uh, this is, uh, yeah, I, I call it the teen buck, but it's definitely, you know, all new because they had to make new arms to uh, to be the right size for the uh, the small of a body. And the legs are pinless, so this is more or less, this is all new. So, And I should have uh, noted that when I ran into that diaphragm uh, uh, joint when I had the swivel at the waist. Here's a quick look at Miles with his thwippers on. Still unfortunate that we didn't get uh, a pair of wall crawling hands. And now here we have Miles alongside his wave mates, the ones that I've already reviewed. We've got our far left, Ben Riley as Chasm. Then we've got the Tarantula. And then going off to our right, we've got Jessica Drew, Spider Woman. And at the forefront there, we have Ben Riley as Spider Man. So closing this one out, the Hasbro Marvel Legends Spider Man retro but not really wave Miles Morales Spider-Man is a very unusual figure uh, it's definitely just it's it's all new I can definitely say that it's all new it's a smaller buck we do get pinless knees which is great uh, it's got that overlay and to make it look more like a sweater we got the uh, the arms that are uh, single jointed and swiveled. Um, I understand why they did that because of the whole nature of the uh, the uh, the sweater. The uh, head sculpt is uh, very unusual, but uh, it is uh, accurate to the source material, so it's pretty cool. It is a uh, kind of a fun figure. That overlay makes it problematic to uh, get miles into some uh, pretty dynamic poses considering he is a spider uh, based character it is what it is though um, still in all it's okay obviously the accessory thing is will always be an issue we got um, he came out of uh, packaging with fists and he came with an extra set of thwippers it would have been nice if he came with a pair of uh, wall crawling hands but he did not so um, it is what it is and what this is is done talking about miles like share subscribe to this 
video to the channel. Leave comments below. What do you think about this iteration of Miles Morales Spider-Man? What do you think about the wave as a whole? Let me know. Definitely subscribe. Definitely uh, leave your likes, dislikes, what have you, your comments so we can get this done.